Hey, my name is Bhumani Kola. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, this channel is all about educational tools, tips, and technology. So if you don't want to miss out on all the fun, please make sure you subscribe. YouTube tells me that 90% of my viewers are not subscribing to my channel. Let me know in the comment section below how can I improve and win your subscription. In today's video, I will be demonstrating how to use the camera setting inside your Microsoft Teams meeting and enhance your video quality and make it look professional, not by using expensive cameras, just by using a regular webcam. And all this while you're inside your meeting. Did you know you can even change your meeting to a grayscale? Let me show you how. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So here I am in my Teams calendar. I'm gonna go ahead and click Meet Now, Start Meeting. What I'm trying to do here is to record a quick session for my students just because it's gonna snow here in Texas and I wanna be prepared for my students. As you can see, the video quality is not as professional as I usually have my video qualities to be because I'm not in a studio. I'm here in my office in my college and I'm trying to record using a Logitech camera. And I'm gonna show you how you can use your Teams camera settings and make this normal looking video to be professional and if you want to change your background this is the time click on background filters and pick from any one that you want but for now i am not going to pick any so you can see the transition and i'm going to click join now just so that i can be in expanded mode so here is my video quality in I am not quite happy with it. So let me go ahead and show you how you can change this video quality to nice, bright and um, good contrast using camera settings in Microsoft Teams. Again, keep in mind if you are using a webcam that does let you change your settings, this will be possible. But if you're using a webcam that does not have any settings, this might not be possible. Again, I'm using a Logitech camera webcam. So let me scroll down here and I'm gonna click on my Teams and I'm gonna click on the main Teams window. And all the way here on the right hand corner, click on these three ellipses, click on your settings tab, go all the way down to devices. And while you're here, make sure you check the noise suppression is high. If you're in a hallway like me where there's a lot of traffic, you might wanna make sure the background noise is reduced. And as you can see, here is my camera settings. If I go ahead and check automatically adjust the camera, as you can see, it changed, but I'm not happy with it. So let me go ahead and uncheck this one. Again, the camera that I am using is Logitech Quick Cam Pro 9000. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to open my camera settings right here. And I am also going to go ahead into my meeting so you can see simultaneously how things are changing. So I'm going to click on advanced settings. I'm going to uncheck the auto and I'm going to make sure I change the exposure level. And it looks like it's already starting to look a little bit better. I'm going to change the gain level too. Again, these settings might not be the ones that you want. So I highly recommend playing with them. And the good part is once you set them and save them, this will be the settings for every time you log into your meeting. Uh, the gain is too much. Change the brightness just a little bit. That's good. What about the contrast? Let's try the contrast. Mm. Yeah, that's good. And color intensity. The good part is you can make your video completely grayscale, which I do sometimes when I don't have my makeup. But for now, let me go ahead and change this to a slight intensity. I think I like that. Make sure you uncheck your white balance if you want to manually adjust it. This is good. Now, as you can see, there was a huge difference for, from the video before to the video now. And once this is done, you can also go ahead and mirror your video if you would like. I'm going to click on mirror. And uh, where am I? Here. I think I like the normal part. Yeah, this is much better now. And now let's go to webcam control. And again, these are the settings for my Logitech camera. You might have different settings, but always go around and play by clicking on open camera settings. And here I'm going to uncheck my autofocus. And here I want to try to focus on my face. That looks good. Let me see the camera. Yeah, don't look at the bags in the back. I teach a pre-calculus class and trust me, carrying all those calculators is killing my shoulders. And I can zoom in and zoom out this is good i just want to adjust the camera just a little bit and 
if you are standing and teaching a class, you might want to check this follow my face because this is what's going to happen. Are you ready? So the camera is automatically following your face. So if I move back, whoa. Okay, be careful. Don't fall like I did. And here is the camera again. It's automatically zooming itself in and out. And if I move here, ooh, that's fancy. I didn't, I really did not know this was even there. So, but for now, I'm just gonna be sitting here and lecturing. So I'm gonna uncheck follow my face because seeing my face this close kind of scares me. So here are all your settings, your advanced settings, your webcam control, your autofocus. This is what I have in my Logitech. And once you're done with all of this, go ahead and click save. And this is how your video is going to look so different from the one it was before. Again, it's very simple. All you have to do is go to your main Teams page right here and click on your devices. And here are all your settings. And I think I like this much better. Yeah, please don't look at the background. There are a lot of worksheets, water bottles and stuff, but I hope you enjoy this one. And again, it's very, very simple. And you can do all of this while you are in the meeting. Just in case you forgot, you turned on your camera and you don't see it as bright or as contrasted or as colorful as you want. Always go ahead and click that and change the settings. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned how to change your camera settings and make your video look professional while you're teaching those classes. If you did, please make sure you like and subscribe. If you think it's worth sharing, please go ahead and do so because you and me both know that there are educators who are struggling with the light, the brightness, and much more. Did you know we now have a Facebook page where you can connect with me and exchange educational thoughts? I'll leave a link in the description box below for Microsoft Teams, Canvas, and Technology Playlist. Do not forget to check them out. And please don't forget to comment in the comments section below what you like and dislike about this camera settings. Like always, happy teaching and please take care of yourself.